times. So a lot of people do know that you grew up in Perth as well. So what were you like as a child growing up? Um, I think if you ask my parents, they would say I was a good girl, but I was annoying. I was um, always singing. Right. Always. Just like Tyler. Oh my God. I have to keep really? telling him to be quiet. Oh, no. there you go. Because I always sing, I sing pretty loud in the bathroom and it just <laughs> echoes around the whole house. Well, I don't blame you. I, I always just loved music. I loved yep. to sing. I loved to always be, you know, doing some kind of a show. And um, I do feel like, you know, that's when you do know that someone's probably going to pursue something like music because it was just in me from a very young age and it was influenced from my parents because my mum um, was a dancer and so I think that she was always you know kind of up for putting on music and dancing around the house. You kind of got your modelling side as well when you started. Yeah yeah exactly but I just I loved music it it always did something to me when I listened to songs they took me to a place and I think that that's my love of music comes from a very very young age. Is is Perth like a really music city and entertainment is like Melbourne or is it like? (laughs) Um yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of incredible musicians that come from Perth, uh, but I do think you have to leave. I do. Industry-wise, I think the industry is more um, Sydney and Melbourne. Mm. Yeah. And growing up in, you know, you've come from actually quite a diverse culture as well. Not a lot of people know your dad is actually Anglo-Indian as well. Yeah, yeah. Did that also have any part into the music side as well? Or? Definitely. I feel like that um, my mum, I'm a, my brothers and I are first generation Australians. So my dad was born in Mumbai, Bombay, and my mum was born in Glasgow in Scotland. So they both moved to Australia and then we, you know, obviously first generation. So I do think that that's influenced a lot. Um, and my, my family, all <laughs> it's different food it's different accents it's different languages and I think that's really amazing and, and I love that and I, I really my culture is very very important to me mm. and your mum's Scottish right yeah, yeah. so yeah. which identity like culture have you identified most with like growing up because uh, you're born you're obviously question. you're Australian you're born here I am yeah. I don't know it's a tough question I my family my mum's family are actually mostly in Scotland so my dad's family all moved over so I th- I would say probably that side of um my family I'm was exposed to a little bit more um grew up eating curries and chili and loving coriander and <laughs> all my family have Indian accents um you know we had an Indian Santa. We had curry on Christmas Day. Oh, that's nice. That's just how what all I've known. And then you know, I I didn't know that I was the only white cousin. Oh, oh really? I'm the, <laughs> I, yeah, I was the only white cousin in my whole family, and I, they would call me my white cousin, and I would, I just didn't even know what that meant until I got older. You <laughs> know, same as me, like because I'm the only cousin that lives in Australia. Everyone else lives in Cambodia. There you go. They call me the Australian cousin and yeah. the, they call me white, white as well, yeah. actually. Isn't that <laughs> yeah. funny? And you, because you obviously, children, you don't know that growing up. You don't know what that is. And then I even remember the first time I, I, I realised my parents were different colours because I never knew as a child. And I remember um, seeing... My, my dad, I was actually in school, uh, in primary uh, – no, I was in preschool and I remember p- my dad came to pick me up and the whole class started going, stranger, danger, stranger, oh danger, because no. we had just learned about stranger. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I was like, that's my dad. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I remember my dad saying, no, no, uh, no, 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 that's just what they think. It's, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That's just what they, that's what they see. Has he's like, he kind of seen a bit of um, a transition – being, yeah, yeah, he has because he had a lot, um, a lot to deal with when he first moved to Australia. But yeah, he, he, um, I mean, my dad's the most understanding and kind human in the entire world. So, yeah, 